Okay then gang, so in this video I want to show you how you can use your own custom fonts in a React Native project. So to explain this, I've gone to the Expo documentation and I've gone to this page on it using custom fonts. I will leave the link to this page down below so you can peruse this at your leisure. But if we scroll down a little bit, it's going to show you how we can use custom fonts in our app. Now, first of all, it says here to load and use fonts, we use the Expo SDK, and that comes pre-installed when you create a new Expo project. But if for some reason, if you don't have that, you can install it with npm install save Expo in your project directory if it doesn't work, okay? So then to use Expo font, we first of all need this import statement. Import asterisk, which means everything, as font from Expo font. So we import that first of all, and then we can use this method, load a sync on font to go and grab the fonts that we need, okay? Now this example is inside a class component in React and we're using functional components. So the way we do it is gonna be slightly different but it does exactly the same thing as this. The first step though is to go and get the font that we actually want from Google Fonts or somewhere else. I've gone to Google Fonts and I've searched for one called Nonito, which is this thing right here. So if you wanna download that, you can click on this plus icon, then click down here, hover over the download button and press download. So once you've downloaded that, I've already done it. We can go and put those fonts in our project directory. So if I open up, first of all, VS Code and then my downloads folder, you can see I've got Nonito over here. So let me first of all create inside the assets folder a new folder called fonts. This is where we'll store them. So I don't want to put every single font in there because I'm not going to use them all. What I will do is put in Nonito regular first of all, so that's in there now. And then secondly, let's use Nonito bold, or rather should we use semi bold? No, let's go with bold. Okay, so put that in the fonts directory as well. Okay, so we have those two fonts now inside this folder. All we need to do is register those fonts or load those fonts in our project. And we're gonna do that from app.js. So the first thing we need to do is that import statement at the top, remember. So I'm gonna come up here, and I'm going to say import and it's asterisk for everything as font and it's from and then it would be expo hyphen font. OK, so we've imported that now. And the next thing we can do is load those fonts. Now, remember, in the example over here, if I open up the documentation, it says right here, we need to use this method load async on font inside component did mount. Now, obviously, we don't have access to this component did mount lifecycle hook inside a functional component. So we're going to do this slightly different. So let me show you how we're going to do this. So we're going to create a function up here called get fonts, which will be equal to an arrow function. And then inside the function, we're going to return font, which is this thing right here. So font and then dot load async. So it asynchronously loads fonts. Now in here we pass an object and there's going to be key value pairs inside this object. Each key value pair represents a font that we're going to use. So the key will be whatever we want to call a font inside the project. So I'm going to call this Nonito and then hyphen regular and we need to set that equal to require so this is going to go and get this particular font and it's dot forward slash in the current directory, then into assets, then into fonts, and then whatever the font was called. So let me have a look at that. So Nonito regular, so Nonito hyphen regular dot TTF. Okay, so that's the first one right there. The next one we need is Nonito bold. So let me do that. The key is going to be Nonito hyphen bold and then over here we'll say require and then dot forward slash assets forward slash fonts forward slash Nonito hyphen bold dot TTF. So this thing here, this method is going to go out and grab those fonts. Now we can shorten this because we're just returning one thing here. So I can get rid of this curly brace and this curly brace, 
get rid of the return statement as well and I can bring this up onto the first line and scoot that back. So we're just returning one value here, right? So we have our function now, which is responsible for returning this and this function goes out and gets those fonts and it registers those fonts under this name so that we can use them in CSS or maybe not CSS, but you know, the React Native alternative where we can say font family and use one of these two things. But at the minute, we're not running this function, so it's not actually doing anything. It's just kind of sitting around in space doing nothing. Now, what we could do is call the function down here, and then it will run that function and go out and grab those things. But because this is asynchronous, the rest of the code is also going to run as well, and it's going to render our component maybe before we even get the fonts and register those. And we don't want that to happen because stuff inside our home component in this case or whatever else we're rendering might depend on those fonts. So instead, we need a way to wait until this is done and then and only then we render the component tree. OK, so the way we're going to do this is by keeping track of whether this is loaded yet in a little bit of state. So I'm going to say const and then fonts loaded and then set fonts loaded set that equal to use state and to begin with it's going to be false because they're not going to be loaded to begin with now we need to import use state at the top to do this so let's do that first of all use state and then we need to use this bit of state now so what i'm going to do is an if check down here i'm going to say if and then in parentheses fonts loaded so if that is true at that point, I want to return whatever component tree we're showing, in this case, the home component, because when they're loaded, we know we can use them in the home component. Now, if they're not loaded, which they're not to begin with, because this is false to begin with, then instead, we're going to show something else. And the something else that we're going to show is a component from Expo called App Loading. And this is basically a component that doesn't actually show anything on the screen, all it does is trigger some stuff to start loading that we specify. And when that stuff is finished loaded, we can run a function inside that component, which is going to do something for us. So what we can do is use the app loading component to go out, trigger this function to go and get the assets we need, the fonts. And then when it's finished loading those, fire a function, which is going to set this bit of state right here to true. And when that's the case, it's going to then render this component. Does that make sense? So let's first of all import this. Import, and it's going to be app loading from Expo. OK, so down here we can say app loading, and it's a self-closing tag. And then the first prop we need to specify is the start async. So this is the thing that is going to start to begin with, what function do we want to run when we use this component? Well, we want this function to run to go and get some kind of fonts, these things right here. So let's pass that into this prop, get fonts. So that triggers this function. This function returns an asynchronous task. So when this is complete, then in a separate prop on finish, we can pass a function which is going to run. So let me pass that anonymous function in. And all this is going to do is use the function set fonts loaded and change the state to true. So at that point, then this will be true and we will return the home component. So let me try this out. Make sure everything works first of all. And it takes a second and we get an error. Nothing was returned from render. And that's because stupidly, we have to actually return this right here. So let me just cut that for a second and return it instead. So we'll do this and then scoot this in, save it again. And we should now just wait a second or two and then eventually see the home screen. OK, so this all works. So it's waiting until we get the fonts. Then it's setting this to true and then we show this component. So that's the setup complete. Now we can go ahead and use these anywhere in the app. So for example, if I go to the home screen over here, let me open up screens and go to home. And over here, we have some text. So if I wanted to, I could apply that particular font family now 
this thing right here, Nonito Regular or Nonito Bold, to the text that we see right here. So let me do that. First of all, I'll add a style prop to the text component. Style is equal to styles. And we'll call this particular style title text. And then down here, we need to make that. So title text. And then this is going to have the font family of Nonito Bold. So this thing should match whatever we called it over here. And we'll also change the font size to 18. So hopefully this will work now. Press save. And now we can see the new font right there. So there we go, my friends. That's how we can use custom fonts in a React Native app. First of all, we import this thing right here. Then we create a function which returns font.load async and that registers whatever fonts we want to load. Then down here, we can create some state to keep track of whether this is loaded yet. We evaluate fonts loaded. If it's true, it means these have loaded and we return whatever component tree you want to. In this case, just the home component. If it's not true, then we return this app loading component, which we imported from Expo, and that triggers an asynchronous task, first of all, in our case, get fonts. So it runs this function to go and get them. When this is complete, then the app loading component triggers the on finish function right here. That updates the state that we have to true. And then therefore, this now evaluates to true and we can use the home component or render the home component. And at that point, since these are now registered and complete, we can now use that font in any kind of styles in that component tree.